Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. When we last left off, we had actually managed to get ourselves through the uh, the glitz pit with minimal effort. Ha, ah, what am I saying? It took like four videos. Um, but we got our third crystal star. I actually forgot to check the name of the crystal star. Is it like... What is the name of the crystal star? Uh, journal, that was it. The gold star. I don't know what I was expecting. Anyway. Now that we're back in, uh, lovable territory of Roadbort, uh, we're gonna come buy some items. So, I, I kinda wanna live stream. Uh... Let's put has some earthquakes I could get. In case it wasn't obvious, we're actually hold up. Can I can I cook a super stream? Does it do anything different? I don't think it does, but you know what? Let's science. We're gonna science this. There was a I just saw that. Thank you. Alright, we're gonna science this. Let's bring out Boko. Come on, Boko. Let's go. But yeah, if it wasn't obvious, we're about to go ahead and go to the uh, Pit of 100 Trials. We want to get floor 50 today. Uh, probably aren't going to do too much else, because God knows that's not going to work too well. But... doodly doo -dah. I want to see what this does. I actually don't remember what this does. I don't think it does anything important. It might do something important. I don't know. Super Shroom by itself. What's it become? I was afraid of that. Okay. That was a waste of money, but it'll be okay. Um, okay. We're gonna go ahead and rest. Um, shroom fries aren't that helpful at this point, although they kinda are. I'd rather have some... Why am I talking to you? Sorry, Toadsworth, I like you and all, but that was not what I meant to do. Hmm. Thinking. Thinking. You know. I wonder, does the point swap affect Mario or does it only affect the partners? Because if it affects Mario, it may actually not be a bad idea to have the point swap on hand. Yeah, whatever. So, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to get... Oh, wrong button again. I've already got two shrimp fries. I think I'm gonna get one more. Uh, the reason I'm getting fire flowers, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get one. Let me finish my thought. I'm going to get one uh, life shroom. And we're gonna go ahead and cook a couple more shroom fries just to be safe. Uh, but the reason I'm getting fire flowers is that earthquakes do five damage, but they only hit uh, the ground-based targets. Fire flowers do three damage, but they hit everything and blow them all except for enemies that are immune to fire. But. The way I'm looking at it is that the fire flowers may be useful, and it also means I don't have to go try to hunt down a, uh, a shop that has, you know, good battle items at. Of course, I'm going in with oops. I have eight items, though, from so far. I'm going to get one life stream that leaves me one empty slot. But I do want to check. There is one more shop I want to check real quick on the way down there. I say on my way down there, of course, because there is one more shop that I haven't done much with since I've gotten access to it. In fact, I don't think I've even stepped inside of it. And I don't remember what's carried in that shop. I don't know why I got on Boko there. But let me out. Alright, so let's ride Boko. And down we go. 
Now, real quick, I am going to do one thing story-oriented before we do anything, and that's that this, on the west side of the town, is the pipe to Twilight Town. So we're going to we're, we're gonna do this. The pipe rejected you. So, the pipe does not let us through. Oh, crap. Well, I didn't mean to fall down here yet, but okay. <sighs> Alright, you jerk. Get him, Boko. We are one star point from leveling up. That is sad. Alright. So for the sake of argument, I'm going back up because I want to make that jump. I want to test that shop out before we go down. Wow, that was one heck of a jump there, Boko. So this way, in the underground, in the little plaza here, we don't have a lot of things we can't do, but we have also got this. Now there's a bar over there, but there's a shop over here. Oh, right. So this is actually where you can buy ultra shrooms and jam and jellies, as well as slow shrooms and gradual syrups. And also this, gold bars. Buying gold bars isn't very useful, Unless you are just have so much money that you don't need anything. Uh, slow Shroom and Gradual sh Syrups are okay, but they involve long battles. Like, they're very selective when they're actually any good. I'll have to look up and see if they make any good recipes. I think they do later on, but I don't think there's anything I can do with them yet. Anyway, science has been uh, conducted. Let's uh, let's come down. It's already taken us long enough to get started here. It's uh, huh. speaking of gradual syrup, I bet this is gonna be a um, I bet that is going to be a slow shroom. Also, we can go this way. Uh, Flurry? Flurry, there's a... Wait, hold up. Can I actually just have her do the... Okay, then. I guess I took that corner a little bit too sharp. I made the corner... Cut the corner so sharply that she just kind of phased through everything. Now, of course, there's a trouble you can get going down here, but I haven't just messed with the troubles yet. I figure we'll keep the troubles for later. I mean, there is one I want to do later. Uh, Alright, let's switch to Coops. I think Coops is still going to be the most effective here. Let's do BP actually because the badges we have are expensive. That was also the wrong button. Okay, so we got three badge points back. Let's get back our fire drive. Heck yeah. Now Mario has some attack power back. Oh, that Goomba has a fire flower. Let's see here. If I jump on him, I should do four damage. 
And now Coops can finish him. Power shell away, buddy. Now, you may wonder, well, why didn't you save before you came down here? Well, technically speaking, I, I saved right before the beginning of the episode, so I mean, or rather, the last time I recorded. So I'm not losing anything but what we're, what we're witnessing on this episode if I fail. Speaking of, Coops. These first few floors are going to be pretty simple, though. By the only time you'll see Super Hammer be helpful. Well, that's not true. There is one other time it's helpful. We'll get to that in a minute. I say in a minute, but that enemy hasn't isn't going to spawn for a while now. Uh, you know, do I want to expend coins? Yeah, let's go. We want to get down to floors uh 31 through 50 as quick as we can. So. Another mover, wow, okay. Level 10. We did just expend like 60 coins though, so I may regret that. But movers are random, so... Aw. Oh well. Alright, this was the point that I stopped tattling. That's Parrot Moomba. Gloomba with wings. Max HP 7, attack 3, defense 0. It's like a stronger, Goomba, stronger version of a Parrot Koopa? No, it's a stronger version of a Parrot Goomba, my friend. And maybe that's all there is to it. I wonder if the living down here makes its wing, even makes its wing, or ever makes its wings moldy. Yeah. It's too gross to think about black. Wait. I don't have room for that. No. Let's go ahead and use that gradual syrup to get rid of it. Now see, for long battles, Gradual Syrup is fantastic, because it heals you for 2 FP every turn, for like 10 turns. It's wonderful. The problem is finding a battle that, that, that it's long enough to make use of that. And in this case, it just isn't. Ooh, nice. So you might notice how uh, Coots can knock out the pieces of the uh, Spokies. Well, so can Super Hammer. Granted, it also killed them because they didn't have enough HP, but that is something Super Hammer can do. 
that actually makes Super Hammer decent for Pokies. Specifically for Pokies. I mean, Co Coops is uh, a better answer to Pokies in general, but, you know, it's always good to have options. Actually. Oh, a Super Shroom. Now that could be handy. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and utilize... Wrong button. I'm gonna go ahead and utilize one of these shroom fries. Uh, I'm gonna heal Goombella. Because Goombella is weaker at... As far as HP-wise, Goombella had most lower HP. And technically Mario can heal anytime I want. Okay, we're getting closer to... Where we, where we uh, left off at before. Hey, I got off. Freeze your hammer. Oh my. See, this is good use of fire flowers. Oh wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Rather than Fire Flower, let's use Earth Tremor. If I can max this out, it will kill them. And if I fail, I'll, f I'll finish it up with a Fire Flower. Up oh, too early. That should still kill them, though, because the full power determined us six. Yes! Okay, we're good. It did take two volleys of power, but I think we'll be okay. How many coins have I got? Okay, we still have 140, so we're still good on coins. And what level are we at? Uh, 23. Okay, we're getting close. Almost caught up. You know, I didn't think this through. That's a spiky Goomba. It's a spike, a spiky Goomba. That's a spike. It's a spiky Goomba that likes dark places. Seven four defense zero. This tank's pretty high, huh? I'm sure you know this, but try not to jump on the spike. I wonder if I'd like that if I stayed on here long enough. I'd rather not think about that. Are there tiny little slots in Roadport? I might keep uh, Cumbella because. There's a good chance that I'm going to need Goombella again. Hey, I actually caught him, really? I counted? Oh, I counted as a normal jump, okay. Oh, he has a mushroom. I might be able to take him out with a spin jump. There we go. That's a boot. It's everyone's favorite ghost. Well, most everyone. 730. It's not the right home battle on the attack side, but it can turn invisible. If it turns invisible, you won't be able to hit it, so be it while you can see it. Boots are kind of cute, but I sure wouldn't meet one in a dark alley. If I ran to one in the bathroom in the middle of the night, I'd. Well, never you mind what I do. Uh, 
Uh, let's see here. Boko can do more damage to Booze because they have no defense. To heal soon. Oh, thanks, game. Appreciate that. Oh, I missed. Oh. Oh my, that's... I don't like any of this. Uh, well, ow, I didn't... I was trying to figure out what got thrown at me. Uh, Power Shell's gonna miss the last one that's gonna heal itself, but I can at least take out... But the good news is, I now have a chance to heal myself. Coops can finish it off, I'm gonna do another sweet treat. This one's mostly for FP. Though Mario is still missing some HP, although missing Mario is gonna continue to miss HP at this point. I knew that was gonna happen. Oh well. That's fine. It's still better than what it was. Probably could have cooked some of those fire flowers rather than have those attack items, but I really like having attack items. I'll just have to try to conserve FP a little bit. Like getting a free spin jump. Oh, that one has an ice storm. Oh god, what's with these bandits ending up with good items? Stop that. Okay, Coops, you get in front. Extra defense, go. Although he doesn't have zap tap, so that may not be a good idea. May end up regretting. Okay, Merly, I'm happy you're helping me in this. But this is actually a, not a very good time for that. I was going to kill him anyway. Oh well. Oh, I see that up there. No. Thank you. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. And it's the back one. Okay, fine, Boko. Get out here. I need you to finish that guy. 
tell him the power of a tiny Yoshi. Yoshi's revenge! I need like 15 more FP, so I'm just gonna spend the turn getting some more FP. Hope no one minds. Oh no! No, okay, well there's two, two boys and mushrooms. There's only one more left. I don't know where it is. Oh no, there it is. Okay, good. Go! Oh, there's only two more symbols left. Oh well. I have seven more FP than I had, so I ain't complaining. Ah! How dare you! Alright. Mario, one last sweet treat. This is the battle I'm just using to heal. Oh no! Well, that was two poison mushrooms. There's the last one. There we go. Perfect. Now we're in a good position. Sometimes you gotta know when to stall to get your HP back up, and your FP. Especially FP. FP's important. <laughs> Again. Nothing but Lakito. Only Lakito. All Lakito. Okay, second verse, same as the first. Let's do this. Earth Trimmer away. Got it. You are mine. See, people who say that Earth Trimmer isn't good, I fell in love with the move. I love Earth Trimmer. It is basically the shooting star ability. I forget what it's called. Star Storm. Uh, it's basically Star Storm, but f more fun. Oh, sure, it doesn't take takes longer to use, by far. And I'm sure overall that makes Star Storm better. But I really, really like Earth Tremor. So, I'm just going to have Boko appeal, right? That was a relatively free fight. Okay, we made it to 30. Now we're heading into dangerous territory. I've got to be on my, my guard for this one. I've got to mind my P's and Q's. I may have only got a regular jump there. Yep, I did. Okay. So we have entirely new enemies here, and this is going to be dangerous. I'm going to put Goombella in first so I can do Tattle, but this could get her hurt. This is a dark Koopa. That's a dark Koopa. It lives in dark places that light never reaches. HP 8, attack 4, defense 2. It's a bit tougher than a regular Koopa, so you won't be able to beat it easily. But it does the same weakness as a regular Koopa. Flip it over and it's helpless. Well, why do you think you need sunglasses down here anyway? What's the point? Uh-oh. Okay, that was just... That was just spewing. Buzzy Beetles, flying Buzzy Beetles are a pain in the butt. We'll get to them in a sec. Parabuzzy. That's a Parabuzzy. Buzzy Beetle with weeds. HP 5, attack 3, defense 4. I guess those stats are just like a Buzzy. Fire and explosives seem to have no effects. So don't bother, okay? 
If you flip him over, its defense goes to zero. So jump on it first. Yep. And just like with the uh, the flying paratrooper peoples, uh, you have to jump on it twice to flip it from midair. Hilariously, flying enemies, because they don't hit you with their shell, they take damage from Zap Tap. But if they're on the ground, however, they don't take damage from Zap Tap, because then they're hitting you with their shell. Well, of course, it's not about the shelled enemies. Even though the Buzzy Beetle looks like it's hitting you with the shell, it's really not. Not in so much as the, uh, to the game's Zap Tap check. It counts as a jump attack rather than a shell attack. Kind of the same way that, uh, in the original game, it, uh, Paper Mario 64, that is, if, uh, what's his face? Paracarry was to do his attack on his base attack, where he dive kicks an enemy, that, even though he's a flying enemy and he's definitely a shelled Koopa, he takes damage from that if the enemy was electrified. So, same difference. Oh, boy. I'm just doing that so I can get a good hit in first and possibly do some extra damage. I'm gonna bring the Buzzy down, see if I can get him down to ground level while I tattle on the Hypercleft. If that's a Hypercleft, it's basically a cleft that uses charged up moves. HP 4, attack 3, defense 3. When it charges up, its attack power raises to 9. Couple its rock hardness with its ability to charge up, and things get scary. If you're confident, you may want to try doing Super Guard to send its attacks back. If you can't, you better use some items, or you better hightail it out of here. I mean, you don't have to use items, you just have to have a certain friend. A special friend. A hungry friend. I just realized that Buzzy Beetle has not been tattled on yet because he's an actual normal Buzzy. Aw. He's an actual normal Buzzy Beetle right now. I wanted to get rid of them while they were charging, though. That's a Buzzy Beetle. Aw, that's kind of cute. HP 5, attack 3, defense 4. It's got a pretty good defense, and fire explosions don't hurt it whatsoever. But if you jump on it, you can flip it over and drop its defense down to zero. Then it's at our mercy. Ha! Don't hesitate. Jump! 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 Oh, hi, Shy Guy. What you doing? Activating the fog, apparently. Oh, I actually got that off. I was expecting to fly on my face. Oh, she was spinning because I was spinning. That's funny. Oh, you. Hello, friend. Oh, hello, friend. Um, this is a time we use Earth Tremor. I don't feel like getting the crap beat out of me trying to flip all these buzzy beetles. One at a time. There we go. <sighs> That's a chunk of EXP. Star points, whatever. Come on, it's basically experience points. A mover? Okay, I'm actually not going to take the mover, I don't think. Because... Oh, no, we're at level 34. Ooh. That's tempting. But you know what? I actually... I need the experience. I need the experience. I'm going to want the experience. 
Let's just go ahead and go. We'll do the fights normally. I haven't used too many resources yet. Game, no. I refuse your mover. Get that puny out of here. Nice. Actually, he's gonna do, yeah, that's what I thought. It's like, wait a minute, what am I doing? I don't have Quake Hammer equipped. Should I, if I had Quake Hammer equipped, I'd just use Quake Hammer. I really gotta remember to equip that. Oh well, whatever. Jump on the Buzzy Beetles. Jump on both of them to make sure they float. Take a moment and go ahead and speed treat. Okay. Uh oh. Okay, that's it. That's all of them. Let's go. There we go. Ah, uh, eight FP. Nice. Alright, good bella, finish it off for me. I were only 40 uh, star points to leveling up, but I still don't trust it. This place is dangerous. Oh, he's not gonna attack me, is he? I still hit him. <laughs> awesome. Oh. That's dangerous. All of this is dangerous. Everything in this room is dangerous. Oh. This is not good. I wish I... I wish I had followed my own advice and gotten Quake Hammer. Yeah, Shady Koopa. It's the same thing. All right. I have no way of killing the Shady Koopa and the uh, the clefts. I'm gonna have to use I have to use uh, Earth Charmer because I don't want to get strong, but I also don't want to flip the Shady Koopa. Shady Koopas are mean. Okay, I should be good. The clefts should be dead now. Everything else is extra damage to the Shady Koopa, making it easier. <sighs> okay. That should do five damage to everything. The Shady Koopa should be left with two. I should be able to finish it. Yes. Okay. Gumbella finish it. Jump. Or did it get the back? We uh, no. Stop throwing stuff at me. Okay. Okay. So what I'm thinking is I go this guy. Oh, thanks. That actually works out. 
because that should allow me to, to damage the Buzzy Beetle, right? But is it going to be enough to kill it? Aw, oh, well it might have been if I had actually not sucked. That was way off. Okay, so I should be able to finish it this turn. Perfect. Boko is amazing. Shady Koopa, really? Oh. There's so many of them. That last one has a freaking item. Okay. Okay. Think. I'm just gonna have to fall back on Earth Tremor. There's just nothing else I can do but clock out, and I don't want to risk not being able to defeat them. damage did I just do? I did four, didn't I? Okay, so I killed the front one, and if I use ground pound, I should be able to kill the back one, because the first bounce will, bounce, will flip him, and then the rest will damage him, so that should do four damage. Yes, okay, okay, item user's gone, and the one that was flipped is gone. Okay. We got this now. We have to do this one at a time. Actually, you know what? I'm going to use Mario to appeal, get some more star power back. Because I know that Boko can one shot one of these things. Is this going to be enough to get me a level up? Because if it is, then I don't have to bother healing. Hold up. If it's not, I'm going to regret everything and die in the next battle. But it looks like it's going to be giving me 12 whenever this is over. Okay. So. You know, I'm going to risk it and go for BP again. I know, I know, I'm crazy. But 20 HP is actually still okay for this as long as I can block, and of course that's me blocking. So we know how that's gonna go. But I really want Quake Hammer. And I don't know, Sleepy Stomp is probably gonna come in handy, so let's do Sleepy Stomp. Hey, here's 440. And the 440 prize is. Pity Flower. Mario takes damage, occasionally recover one flower. Pity Flower is not bad, actually. Actually, hold everything. How much does that cost? Three. Ah. Three, huh? Okay, well, we'll, we'll hang on to that. We may not use it now, but we'll hang on to it. Alright, let's keep going. Come on. There we go. Oh, there's more than one in here, because I really do. Oh, God! Careful what you wish for, folks. Okay. The problem here is that Earth Trimmer can't kill these things. I have to go for a clock out. Okay, three turns, perfect. 
tattle on the dark paratrooper. This is a dark paratrooper. Lives in dark, damp places. HP 8, attack 4, defense 2. It's strong, but otherwise just like paratroopers. It's airborne, so try to get it ground at first. Yeah. Alright. Hold up. Hold up. Thank you, timeout. Or clock out. See, I don't think I would have survived if I came down here any further last time. Boko has saved me on numerous occasions already. That thing's big. That's a bulky bomb. I think it's like other bombs, but it's huge. Six, two, one. It's weird. It never attacks, but once it fuses lit, it'll eventually blow up on its own. Or blow up on its own eventually. I don't mind taking itself out of the battle, but that explosion hurts us too. Oh, when it powers up, that attack power is eight, so watch out. Fire and explosions light its fuse, so I guess setting it off early is one strategy. You can run too, but if you're gonna fight, beat it before it goes off. So, yeah, one thing you can do is set it off with fire, but if you set it off, it will hurt you. There is no way around that damage. If you beat it without setting it off, it does not hurt you. But it buffs itself, and it buffs itself by raising its defense. Now, right now, it only has a defense of one, so Bella can still damage it allowing us to bring it down to range for Mario's hammer. That gets to be important later. There are some really mean setups with those. Those, those enemies are worrisome. Remember, anything on this floor can kind of be mixed up with any other enemy for the most part. I mean, they have obviously got sets. But... Oh no. This doesn't count as a fire attack, does it? Okay, it doesn't. It's in the back. That is annoying. That's a lava bubble. It's a flame spirit. HP 6, 4, 0. Its attack and HP power may differ from embers, but otherwise it's the same. Since it's made of fire, try not to touch it because it'll burn you. Apparently it's vulnerable to explosions and ice attacks. Oh, and if you get hit by a flame attack, you might catch fire, so guard well. Explosions and ice. Two things I can't make use of. And I want to say it's actually immune to fire, so yeah, no point in doing that. Um, I'm going to get rid of this thing, so... was too early. Oh, you are hurting so badly, my friend. Oh, 
Okay. I'm gonna have her in front here, but I should be able to kill the front thing with Mario. That's a poison pokey. As you probably guessed, it's a poisonous pokey. HP 8, attack 4. Jesus. If you get poisoned, your HP will slowly drain, so you might want to avoid that. I'm sure you can see this, but they have spines all over them, so don't touch them. They may be smiling, but that doesn't mean they're happy to see you. Actually, I can do this. Let's switch to Flurry just because she has HP. Alright. Fire in the hole. So she's not useful anymore, let's switch back to Koops. Sorry, Flora, you were a meat shield there for a moment. Mostly to absorb that explosion. 21 points, that is insane. For a single battle of only four enemies, that is very insane. That's more than- that's an average of five per enemy, but it was one extra somewhere. Come on, Pokey. Now you see me. You're not gonna come after me, are you? Well, fine. Eat Turtle Shell, then. Thanks for boosting my defense. You know, what I can do is swap over to Flurry, heal up a little bit using Earth uh, Sweet Tree. It's not going to fully heal her. It definitely helped. And now, I can swap back to Goops and defeat the Pokemon. I see that poison mushroom limit. floors, by the way. We're only like 43, right? Oh, 44. So, this is a, this is a serious area. Oh, that's a, ooh, that's a whole different kettle of fish right there. Oh, this one's annoying. So, oh, the pill's almost dead. Hold everything. I need to... Oh, you know what? I have that Super Shroom. Here, Boom Bella, have a Super Shroom. But that's a spiny para buzzy. It's a buzzy with a spike and wings. HP 5, attack 3, defense 4. Hey, it's the same sort of stats as normal buzzy. Fire explosions don't work on buzzies in case you've forgotten. And this one flies near and has a spike. What's well, all pain? So you better use an item or a special move. Yeah. These, while you don't have, there are other ways of fighting them. You don't have to use these. 
But Earth Tremor is a good way of fighting it as long as you get enough points to knock it, off, knock it into the air. Okay, that should be enough to beat them. Yeah. Yep, that was enough. Because that should be five. Here we go. That was the wrong partner. Might as well, right? I knew that was gonna happen too. Okay, that's two, and I missed all of the flowers, which is the whole reason I did this. Jeez, I missed every one of the flowers minus one. Ugh, pain. Nothing but pain. Oh well, we should have enough, uh, enough firepower to finish this. helped us quite a bit so I'll have to go get another another curse here shortly but for now let's finish our trip to the floor 50 I see that float that pair of Aussie over there too late. Oh boy. Okay.
Okay, so... I have one thing I want to try. It does work. <laughs> that attack actually ignores defense, if I'm not mistaken. So yes, she can actually defeat those spiny buzzy beetles by kissing them. See, Flurry has uses. They're just very niche uses, but they are uses. Defense ignoring attacks are really good in this game. And there's a lot more of them than there was in uh, the 64, so. Uh, no, that's not a good thing for you to have. Let's try another sweet treat. Oh, nice. That's two of three already. Oh, and I found the third one. No, my flowers, why? Oh, I still got six, we're okay. Oh, we're almost level up too. 11 more points. Oh! Thank you. I'll take that. Thanks, Boo. Not that I really need it, but I appreciate the offer. Never look a gift Boo in the, in the mouth, you know? Mostly because I'll try to scare you. Alright. Ha! <laughs> we made it! We made it. So, 450. What's that get us? The Strange Sack, an item that lets you carry up to 20 items. Yeah, we now have 20 item spaces. So we have these 10, and then once we fill up these 10, you'll have 10 more. Yeah, that's the reason I wanted to come down here. All for that. Floor 50, halfway through the Pit of 100 Trials. We're not going any further. We are saving that Strange Sack. That thing is good enough to actually... Uh, store. I didn't know that was there. <sighs> or if I did know it was there, I've forgotten it. Which is the same as not knowing, actually. You know, that, that phrase is always weird. Because, of course you didn't know about it. If you, Or, of course you'd forgotten about it because you didn't remember it. I guess that means that because you, you know, you've... You used to know it, but you don't know it now. Which is... The same as just not knowing it, period, if you ask me. Oh, something else. While we're down here. Now that we have the super hammer, we can do that. 
And one, we can get this. Two, we can come down here and stop the big block and cause some blue pipes to appear. Now, of course, what do these blue pipes do? Fun things. Let me up, let me up, let me up. Like, take us to Bo Boggly Woods where I missed a badge. Wow. And over here. We have a quick way to pedal burn. So, yeah, for side quests and such, opening up this helps tremendously. I keep forgetting that I have the wrong partner equipped. You know, while we're right here, let's go ahead and re-get our curse. So with the strange sack, though, we don't have to worry about running out of items anytime soon. And in fact, it will make preparations easier for when we go to actually enter the pit. We can have, like, half of our items be healing, half of our items be attack, or maybe all healing items, depending. Um, there's a lot of options. Okay, good, it starts on special path. And we almost made back all the coins that we spent, even with going down floors using the movers, so I'm not arguing with that. It's worth 50 coins, if you ask me. So I know that this episode really hasn't done much, since that was literally just a pit, another pit run. And what's even more fun is going to be the final pit run, the one we actually do front to top, top and bottom. And now, I will say this, for that pit run, a, it's going to be one really long video, so God help us on that one. And two, I'm probably going to just ignore movers on that one, because the idea is going to be doing the challenge itself. If I end up having to split the video, though, it's not going to be... Well, it's the problem with splitting the video is then what if I get stopped later on? I don't want to have, like, two partial runs. A one solid run through the pit. Also, we have badges we can buy here, so let's go ahead and buy all these badges. Well, not maybe not all of them. Also, there's another Sleepy Stomp. So, why were there two Sleepy Stomps, you may wonder? I'm only gonna buy, do I have, okay, I don't have another. Uh, I don't want us to go under 100 coins for the purposes of the uh, tricks. So why would there be two Sleepy Stomps? Well, if we come here and we sort them by type, we can actually equip multiple Sleepy Stomps. Wearing two armor badges require more FP, but the move enemies stay asleep for longer. So yeah, that's why there's two Sleepy Stomps. So of course, we could buy out the badge shop. I don't think I'm going to do that anytime soon. Um, actually, we didn't use half these items again. I guess I'll go ahead and sell them. So, what I might do off screen is do the uh, the trick that I was talking about. Do I have a hey, hold up? What do I have in here? Oh, I never did anything with that. I think I saw that stopwatch too. I'll do some item management and all off screen. Uh, cook those mushrooms, sell everything I have, do some sleepy sheep runs. It's going to be a lot of off-screen grinding, but it's going to be worth it for the coins. 
but when we come back, we're going to find out why that pipe rejected us. Uh, the idea is that you get rejected, and then Professor Frankly tells you how to get through the pipe. So that's what we do. What we'll be doing. And until then, we hope to see you again. Later.